Welcome guys to Fallout 3. Here we go. Um, doing a full playthrough, full DLC. So um, let's get to it. War. War never changes. Since the dawn of humankind, when our ancestors first discovered the killing power of rock and bone, blood has been spilled in the name of everything from God to justice to simple psychotic rage. In the year 2077, after millennia of armed conflict, the destructive nature of man could sustain itself no longer. The world was plunged into an abyss of nuclear fire and radiation. But it was not, as some had predicted, the end of the world. Instead, the apocalypse was simply the prologue to another bloody chapter of human history. For man had succeeded in destroying the world. But war... War never changes. In the early days, thousands were spared the horrors of the Holocaust by taking refuge in enormous underground shelters known as vaults. But when they emerged, they had only the hell of the wastes to greet them. All except those in Vault 101. For on that fateful day, when fire rained from the sky, the giant steel door of Vault 101 slid closed and never reopened. It was here you were born. It is here you will die. Because in Vault 101, no one ever enters. And no one ever leaves. go um choose a boy baby boy a boy we've got a son Catherine a beautiful healthy baby boy oh, oh James we did it a son a beautiful son you've got a bright future ahead of you son I'm sure of it look at you look at you Hi there. I'm your daddy, little guy. Daddy. You're going to need a name, aren't you? Your mother and I have been talking. What do you think about it? I'll just put in my name, of course. Whoops. <laughs> That's a good name, don't you think? Fits you perfectly. Looks like they've finished the gene projection. Let's see what you'll look like when you're all grown up. I always play as myself, so obviously I'm just gonna put Hispanic. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's do different faces. Uh, let me see. Uh, oh Jesus! No, keep going. I'm gonna do that pudgy face one. There you go. That's that's what I want. Now my hair, hairstyle. <laughs> no. Let's not do that. Whoa. Oh, it's uh, the mod. Okay, I failed. I failed to mention. I was like, "What is this? Go like, what kind of fucking hair is this?" I failed to mention that uh, <laughs> I have like mods. Like, they don't change the like. There's nothing that changes the game, like as far as story or anything like that. It's just like it gives you, I guess, more options. And like uh, improvements, basically, it's just stuff like that. But uh, hopefully, I find a good-looking one. That'll be good. Oh yeah. 
No eyebrows, no e no beard. What? How about we just go with this beard? Let's do that. Whoops. Jesus. Okay. Yes, sir. You're going to look a lot like your dad. See that, Catherine? Oh, oh, very strapping. <laughs> it's a big world out there, son. Full of all sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person are you going to be? You're just James? A... Catherine. James. Catherine. She's in cardiac arrest. Start compressions. Get the baby out of here. Move! Move! One one thousand. Two one thousand. Come on. Hang on, Catherine. Hang on. Okay, number one. We need a doctor, not a dead man. I failed to meet my expectations that there would be no look straight into James and his cheerly chatter. There we go. Just like her. Yeah, so yeah, I just Come on. I just put a bunch of mods like New textures and stuff like that. Anything that helps the game look good. And boy, does it look good. Mm. Hello, Dad. There you go. Hello, Dad. Thank goodness. Just a year old and already walking like a pro. My mother would have been so proud. Listen, kiddo. I know you don't like it when Daddy leaves you alone. But I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. You just stay here while Daddy runs to his office. You'll be okay, pal. I'll be back in a bit. By the way, um, I'll have a list of all the mods that I did um, in the description, of course. So, like, if you guys want to mod your game like to look like this, I'll just fucking I'll just put all the mods and stuff on the description, so you guys can download them and stuff. So, yeah. Oh yeah, I need to pick my skills. Cool. I'm just gonna go all the way to the end. This. Like, for people who don't know, you, it's uh, this game is like an RPG, so like strength, of course, gives you more strength when you're fighting people by hand and stuff like that. And perception's like, like, uh, all the baddies that you could see, like in your compass or whatever. Endurance, how long you could take damage, I think. Charisma is like how well you talk to people. Intelligence is with how you can do hacking and stuff like that. Agility, how fast you move. Luck, um, I believe it's like the critical hits that you do, the chance of that happening, so. Um, for this character I'm actually gonna do one strength, of course intelligence, I want that high, uh, charisma one, and let me see, do I want more endurance or more agility? I'm gonna do six endurance, okay, we're done. We're done skis. Hi. <laughs> you are quite the little explorer, aren't you? Yeah. Serves me right for trying to pin you in. Come on over here. I want to show you. He's not even looking at me when he's talking to me. It was your mother's favorite. Person. He's still not looking at me. It's from the Bible. Revelation 21:6. It's from the Bible. I am Alpha and Omega. Beginning. Give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life. So I'm basically uh always loved that. I'll let him right. finish. <laughs> Let's go see if your little friend Amada wants to play. Okay, you do that. Um so basically I'm doing this this playthrough for like a Fallout 4 hype thing. So just so I could like play I'm probably gonna play New Vegas too and Fallout 3 because I don't know, it's just been a while since I played this. I've been this game but still like I I still wanna play this and New Vegas. So, let's do it. I played this actually on 360, Xbox 360. I haven't played uh, with any mod, so obviously this is like, woo, like I'm all hyped. The experiment is prepared. Prepared. Oh my god, I didn't know. You blinded the poor kid. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, pal. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. Aww. Congratulations, mother. young man. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? No. Down here in Vault 101, when you turn ten, well, 
you're ready to take on your first official vault responsibilities. So here you are. As Overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip-Boy 3000. Get used to it. Nice. You'll be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Enjoy your party. There are only ten months, so have fun. Thank you. Happy birthday! We really surprised you, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> your dad was afraid you were on to us. But I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. Mm. You're such a liar. Okay, if you're so smart, what did I get you for your birthday? Oh, I fucked up. Uh, just give me the present okay, already. Okay, one last question. Who's your favorite barbarian? Oh, That's shit. right, Grog. Yeah, I found this in a box of my father's old things. Can you believe it? Kind of weird to think about him reading comic books. I guess I better let you get back to mingling with your guests. We'll talk later, okay? Happy birthday! Oh, I actually want to read this right now. This book actually gives you uh, stats. Gives you... Oh! Ah, oh, man! Fuck! Fuck! Oh well. There's actual perk that gives you two points. And I fucked that up. Oh well. Fuck it. That's alright. Oh man, you got a pit boy. I wish I was ten. Ha! Are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. Such a nice, polite young man you are. Don't ever lose your gift to speaking your mind so directly. We could use more of that down here. Here you go. A nice, sweet roll that I baked for you just this morning. And it's all for you. You're the birthday boy. No sharing required today. Yay. It's time to pop the cake. Andy, hey, happy birthday. Oh, this is where he fucks up with the cake. Oh. How do you like that pit boy, son? Fit all right and everything? As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the A-series is a bit basic, but I've always preferred them for their reliability. Don't mention it. Oh, yes, Thanks, I almost forgot. Happy birthday! Not much, but I hope you like it. Oh, I got a... I got a fucking cap? Oh, I could use this sweet roll. I already ate it. Uh, I can use that cap. Let me see, uh... Haha! No. <laughs> Allow me to wish you a happy birthday. I'm hungry, and that stupid robot destroyed the cake! Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. Oh, hell no. I'm gonna be a dick to this guy. You're funny. Yeah. See how funny you are later when I'm pounding on your face. Come on, Paul. This loser ain't worth our time. So, what do you think we should call our game? It's got to be totally killing. Oh, okay. Hey, how about you guys think? Happy birthday. Thanks. Let's send him right down. Yes, let's hey, go. That was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. Let's do this. Haha, <laughs> no, no! Let's ha ha ha! I fucking juked your ass. Woo! If you guys don't know, she gives me a poem, but I really don't want to talk to her, so. Yeah. What are you doing down here, young man? I thought kids weren't allowed down. Yeah, shut up. Oh, I see. Now that you're Ted, you're all business. Mm -hmm. Well then, mister, we'd better get to it. Happy birthday, by the way. Hang on one more minute. I think I hear someone coming. It's my dad. Are you ready for your surprise? Yes. The overseer gave you your pit boy and you're old enough to do some work. So, I figure you're old enough for this. Your own BB gun. It's a little old, but it should work perfectly. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. It took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch misplaced that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, what do you think? Want to give it a try? 
Yep. We sure can't, unless we want the overseer beating down our door. Jonas and I have found a place, though. Come on. Cool. This is the perfect time to actually uh, set up my... Uh, what do you call it? Settings for this mod that I have that does iron sights. And basically, now you could just... Instead of having the regular game, it would just zoom in, which was kind of weird, but this one actually, it's like you're looking through the side of the gun, so that's pretty cool. Uh, turn off the blur, because that's pretty dumb. That's that's pretty much everything I do. Okay. There we go. And then... Yeah. So see, like, in the game, it, just, it, it would just zoom into that, which is pretty weird. Zoom into the actual gun, but now you can actually look through the sights. That's pretty cool. So here we go. Uh, boom. Oops. Ugh. I fucking hate red roaches. Son of a... There you go. Good work. That's one less round roads to deal with. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. Hey, Jonas, get a picture of me with a big game hunter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smile. 